Sam, do you have any children? No, I don't. I, I had a pig, but she ran away. Get out of here. Hey, Suzanne, you want to dance? Not unless you're any better than you were in high school. Oh, <laughs> Rapinian, I guess she told you. Come on, try me. Well, all right. <laughs> Excuse me. I just can't believe how big she's got. She doesn't even look like the same person. Did you meet my wife, Marcy? Yes, I did. She's very nice. You know, it's crazy, the ideas people get built up in their minds. She didn't want to come tonight because I used to date you and she knows you're a big beauty queen. <laughs> but now that she's seen you, everything's cool. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Th that's okay. Listen, if you don't mind, I think I'm just gonna go pat her my nose, okay? Hey, Suzanne! Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. How you doing, Rebellion? I'm doing great. Watch your drink there. Uh, okay, okay, I, I just want to ask one question. Kathleen and Patterson and I have a bet going. We actually have had a bet going since high school. Tonight we're gonna settle it. But we need to get your bra size then and now. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Shut up. Did you see Leslie Gillespie? Doesn't she look absolutely darling? Mm. She's an attorney and she's got four kids. Can you believe it? Did you hear what Jay said about Suzanne Sugarbaker? The new poster girl for Save the Whales. Oh. <laughs> well, no wonder she came alone. I bet she can't get a date. Well, you know she's been married a bunch of times. Yeah, I heard. Jay says they probably left because they weren't getting enough to eat. Oh. That's terrible. Hey, I didn't say it. He did. Suzanne, it's just human nature. People love to see beautiful women get old or fat. All my life, I've had to fight my weight. I'll admit, food has been my security blanket, but... Also, I just gain weight more easily than some people. Like you. You've always had that little tiny waist and those skinny legs. But I can't be that. And people have always tried to make me be that. Suzanne, you're not alone. I'd be willing to bet most of the people in this country are overweight. The point is, it's different for women, especially beautiful women. Look at Elizabeth Taylor. I bet I've seen National Velvet probably 20 times. And if she never did anything else in her life, what a contribution that was. But all of a sudden, because she got fat, it was like she no longer had the right to live in this country. And that's how I feel right now. Boy, drugs, alcohol, cancer, whatever your problems, people are sympathetic unless you're fat, and then you're supposed to be ashamed. Everything's set up to tell you that. Magazine covers, clothes. I mean, it, if you're not thin, you're not neat, and that's it. And if looks are all you've ever had. Wait a minute. What do you mean, if looks are all you've ever had? Suzanne, first of all, don't be a dummy. Your looks will never be in the past tense, OK? That face speaks for itself, and it's here to stay. And secondly, even if that weren't so, who cares? What do you mean? I mean that you and I are getting pretty far along in life now. And I have been able to figure out a couple of things. Are you going to give me the key? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. In the end, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you. People are going to forget you about 10 minutes after you die, anyway. The point is, you have to be exactly who and what you want to be. Most everybody's coasting along on phony public relations. People who say being beautiful or rich or thin makes them happy. People who are trying to make their marriages or their children seem better than they actually are. And for what? Appearances. Appearances don't count for diddly. When it's all said and done, all that counts is what was true and truly felt and how we treated one another. And that's it. 